Hello, hello to all of my wonderful Cancers. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a very special reading on today. Hope you all are having a great day today, Cancers. But then again, I know you are because that's the intention you set. Yes, Cancer. So we're going to go ahead and get into your reading. We're going to be talking about the numbers 21 and the number 3. And just for the record, just so you all know, when I, when I upload numbers... Um, it's not for a specific day. So if your videos happen to go up sooner than anyone else's or later than anyone else's, they apply just the same. The videos are timeless. So some people are their, um, their life path number is three. Some people have been seeing the numbers 12. Some people have been seeing the numbers 21. So it applies when you see the videos go up. And again, I'm celebrating. I want to let everybody know I'm celebrating all signs. So I'm celebrating with some non-alcoholic. Um, 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 this is elderflower lemonade. Yes, like it says, gently bubbling with real English elder flowers. But it says non-alcoholic. It's kind of sweet kind of sweet. So I want to celebrate you all, right? Because a lot of times you all do not get celebrated enough. So I want to celebrate you. I hope you all have your glasses and you cling your glasses with mine. <laughs> cancers because it's a lot of things that's happening right now in the universe so we have a waxing moon that's almost 70 percent if it's not more than 70 percent because i think the last time you all i put up a video for you all it was at like 20 percent i mean it, it literally has been moving fast so that lets you know time waits for no one but how does the the moon affect you we we know that the moon is illuminating pretty fast, right? Um, and it's moving towards, it's in that waxing phase, but it's moving towards a full moon. And how does that affect cancers? In particular, we'll talk about that. Again, we're going to be talking about the numbers 21 and the number three, as well as the letter U and how all that ties in together. But we're going to first get started with who you are as a cancer. Just some of the I am attributes for the cancers. Let's take a sip. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious, delicious. Yes going to put that right there again. I, this is all about you. We're celebrating you. Cancer on today. Um, let's talk about it. I am a cancer. I want you all to say that loud and proud. I am a cancer. I'm a sweetheart. I am empathetic. I am charming. I give my best. I don't hold back my emotions. I am very empathetic. I am very persuasive. I'm emotional in a good way. I am sympathetic. I am loyal. I am highly imaginative. I am tenacious. And you can add whatever else you want to add in that. But I always speak very, very highly of cancers. I speak highly of all signs. But it's always nice to know exactly what you bring to the universe, right? And your ruling planet, as you already know, is the moon, right? Which governs all of our emotions and our moods, right? So again, we're going to be talking about this uh, waxing moon and how it affects you in particular, Cancer. This is a general reading, by the way. The cards that I'm using are the Light Sears Tarot deck by Chris Ann. I have also the Oracle of the Seven Energies by Colette Baron Reed. If you're interested in a personal reading, and I've talked to a lot of cancers, if you're interested in a personal reading, please contact me via my website at queenamunra.com. Let's get into your reading. Most High God in the Universe, please give me a special reading for my wonderful cancers. As it relates to all areas of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions, and spirituality and where they need to take action. What information do we have for my wonderful cancers? Yes, yes. I talked to a cancer <laughs> recently and they were like, is your such and such cancer? And I was like, yep, bingo, you got it. So... Yes, um, there are people who know what uh, their placements in my chart. Um, so, like I said, um, I, I do, like I said, I do know um, that this moon, all moon in general, because that's your ruling planet, and we know moon is not a planet, it's a luminary, but it affects you the most, okay? So, like I said, we're going to be talking about that. Let's get into your reading most high god in the universe please give me a special reading for my wonderful cancers as it relates to all areas of their lives specifically in areas of money and wealth creativity and emotions spirituality and where they need to take actions and also in areas of creativity yeah and power and intellect what information do we have for my wonderful cancers yes let's see you know what um cancers information is coming through too for me like like i said governs the emotions and mood right and so you all are probably most affected by um, 
this moon growing and I'm just pulling out these cards here most affected by these this moon growing so I want you all to you know uh, really really protect your emotions and it's uh, this is a time for you all to just kind of sort of nurture yourself as well as be around people who are also nurturing you because you all are natural nurturers you all are very magnetic you're natural nurturers um, but it's also a time for you to sort of really connect with the female ancestry, right? A lot of you all are highly gifted and spiritual. So it's a time to really honor your emotions right now, right? This is not a time to say, well, why am I acting like this? Well, this is a time to really honor your emotions. Here we have page of cups, right? Mm-hmm. We're going to talk about that in just a second. Emotions. We're going to be talking about the three of wands. Here's the three of wands. We're going to make sure we can get in there and see that. Lots of expectations. We have the Two of Swords. Uh huh. This is that air energy. Yeah, that being a little guarded there. We have Six of Wands, which is great. That's that fire energy. We have the Ace of Cups. This is the emotions right there. That's that water energy. Yes. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. This is your money. So listen, when I look at these cards, the story that it's telling, because you know we're going to insert a number um, in the reading. So by now you know the format of how I read cards. And I know a lot of tarot card readers, they read their cards very differently. A lot of us read our cards different from others. But the messages are a lot of the times um, similar from what I've been hearing from, you know, getting feedback from a lot of people. But here's the thing. So um, there is an ex or somebody's going to try to come back into your life cancer okay remember i said your moods are heightened right now and they're becoming even more heightened so right now is a great time to stick near and dear to people that nurture you as well as you nurturing them whether it's your significant other whether it's your parents or children family whomever but this is a great time for you to stay home and just you know connect with people in your in your home life whether it's family because significant other or whatever because not everybody is in a relationship like in a romantic relationship but this is a great time for you to stick close to what's familiar to you what feels like home to you and it's also a time for you to connect to the divine feminine in in you right that nurturer in you all of that right so this person um remember this moon this moon, the moon that we see every night <laughs> affects everybody, right? So as it's going through its phases and it's starting to grow, illuminate more and more and more, you, when you look up at the sky at night, you'd see that it's not a, just this blaring full moon. It started waxing and looked like a banana at one point, but uh, it's growing and growing and growing. And so those are our emotions and our moods that are growing. So quite a few people are quite sensitive. And, and so this is a perfect time and, 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 and connecting with other people's emotions, especially water signs. You all are empaths. So this is a perfect time for you all to make sure you tap into your divine masculine side of your energy and protect yourselves. Like really protect yourself from any other outside influences, right? So an ex is going to try to come back into your space. Somebody that you deeply cared about where you're like, uh, I don't think so, right? I would not get back together with you or even entertain you even if I saw a pig fly. See that pig with wings? Even if I saw a pig fly across the room. Yes, it could be, like I said, it could be an ex family member that you used to um, be very, very close with, had deep feelings that you may have had to cut them off. It could have been an ex uh, romantic interest. It could have been an ex, anybody that you had deep feelings for, right? Not everything is a romantic thing. Some of it is just that I, I really love this person. It could have been a, a sibling. It could have been a cousin, a aunt, uncle, whomever you, you guys get what I'm saying. Right. And so because you were hurt, it caused you to walk around with blindfolds on, right? You're looking for their freedom. That's what these birds represent, right? Just, Take these blindfolds off and recognize that not everybody is trying to hurt you, Cancer, right? That's not everybody's intention. But again, during this time, when we're moving towards a full moon. We're in the waxing phase right now. Moving towards that full moon, emotions are starting to heighten even more and more and more and more. A lot of people are becoming more and more sensitive. And so your gifts are really, really heightened. And so this is a time for you to go into protection mode and really protect yourselves. Remove the blindfolds. That's right. Tap into that divine masculine energy. And you come out of this, you know, you come out of this victorious. Look at this. You come out of this victorious. 
during this time, like I said, your intuition is heightened. It just your gifts are heightened and you're expecting a lot. Look at this right here. This person with that one foot raised, looking over all this expansion. You're expecting a lot as you should be, as you should be cancer. And so, like I said, let's talk about the numbers 21, the number three and the letter U and how it all ties in, right? Cause you know, I like to, again, as a numerologist, I like to insert numbers in, in here. So in the Pythagorean numerology system, the letter U is associated with the numbers 21 and the number three. U represents a cup holding the wisdom of the universe, right? This is you. This is really anybody who taps into that gift, right? But you can step into the vibration of any number. People step into the vibration of the number one every single day, and it's not their life, life path number. When you start saying things like, okay, it's a new beginning for me. I'm going to start my ketogenic diet. I'm going to start exercising today, or I'm going to start anything that you just start. It's the beginning of something. That's what the number one, the vibration of the number one um, represents. But so, like I said, 21 and three at the letter U are all connected in the Pythagorean numerology system um, but that's what the numbers 21 and 3 represent the letter U represents again so it also represents um, it resonates to um, well it carries itself regally and has the ability to be the executive it's also determined and can be quite musical right and so also has a intelligent tongue um, that can be used sometimes sarcastically. <laughs> so I'm, I'm sure you all are not being sarcastic with anybody, but that's what I'm saying. So let's say for instance, you all are interacting with somebody whose emotions are high because again, the moon affects everybody. It just affects you most because that's your ruling planet slash luminary, right? Um, and people are being sarcastic. Again, you go into protection mode. You don't necessarily have to meet sarcasm with sarcasm unless you want to. But again, emotions are pretty high as we're moving towards a full moon. And so I want you all to make sure you go into protection mode and keep your vibrations high, right? Let's finish out the rest of this reading and see, and then we're going to pull an Oracle card and see what it says. Yes, 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 yes. So somebody, like I said, that you cared about deeply is going to try to re-enter your life. And you all are like, oh, absolutely not. That door is closed, like slam shut, double bolted locks. <laughs> you are not coming back into my space. So again, protect yourself. And I'm seeing that you all are financially independent, which is great. Yes, 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 yes. This right here represents financial independence. You have been very patient and just planting your seeds and now you're seeing the fruits of your labor. Financial independence, which is great, 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 great. Yes. So here we go. We have the judgment card. A lot of you all are ascending. Your spirit has ascended. So this is where you were. This is where you are right now. So at this level, you can see, you see things very, very differently. That's when people go back and they say hindsight is 2020, but this is you also being able to see from a God-like view of how things really, really are. You don't have to get emotional. A lot of you all have left, um, relationships that did not serve your higher purpose, your highest purpose, right? Those relationships could have been family members who hurt you because this Ten of Swords, on some cards, you may see a person lying down with Ten Swords, swords stabbed in their back, right? Representing uh, betrayal, you know, somebody tossing you under the bus, lying on you, running smear campaigns, all that kind of stuff. But right now you're at a at a um, turning point in your life and these birds represent freedom and your ancestors watching over you too, right? Again, some of you all, some of the women in your family who have passed into another realm are really, really watching over you. Yeah, you don't have to wear blindfolds. You do not have to wear these blindfolds at all. You can actually remove them and just continue being your nice, sweetheart self. You don't have to be on guard at all. You're already protected. Again, you've been investing in yourself. This is your money again. You've been investing in yourself and you're starting to see the fru fruits of your labor. See how deep these roots go? Yeah, some of you all have been investing in stocks and bonds. Some of you all have been saving money in a bank, investing in Bitcoin, all sorts of things. But yes, yeah, so here we go. Um, so there are people around you that you may have allowed yourself, allowed them to connect with you. But trust me, they are there. Some of them are vampires. They're energy vampires. And look, you also have the Midas touch. This is again another money card. So it's a lot of things going on with you right now, Cancer. So, like I said protect yourself. A lot of you all are taking this route, radical, obsessive focus on the things that you love that serve your higher purpose, right? A lot of you all, this is the emperor card. This is attached to Aries. A lot of you all are focused on, um, 
um, just t uh, tapping into your divine masculine side of your energy. Like I said, this emperor card is great, great, great. It's attached to the divine masculine side of you. So pull your birth chart. See if you have Aries in your chart, right? You want to make sure, like I said, because this, this person right here, this emperor is authoritative. They are ambitious. They are very powerful. They are a father figure, whether you have kids or not. You, you could be a father figure to other people. You know how to take control of the situation. Your thoughts are very structured. You know how to stick to the rules that you set for your life, right? So again, this is all about you. Make it all about you, Cancer. Because again, there are people who want to try to come back into your space. Because again, remember the moon affects everybody, but it affects you the most because it's your ruling planet. And there's too much at stake here. You cannot, you, you cannot deviate necessarily from the rules that you set for yourself because it could cause it could cause a delay in a lot of things for you especially your money right it could cause just a big old distraction let's um pull an oracle card and see what the oracle cards have to say let's see what the oracle cards have to say let's see let's see let's see yes endless possibilities look at this right here what does that say endless possibilities for you yeah this person is like looking down into a a um crystal ball yeah very much like the one i have over here but yeah you have endless possibilities so this is really about balancing out your energy and then we have three plus eight which we know uh is 11 which is a portal so continue get receiving information from the most high God in the universe anyway. So yeah, you got you have absolutely access to the future. Seeing what, you know, knowing, yeah, your clairvoyance. You just know how things are going to happen. So take full advantage of it. You don't have time to be distracted by um, people trying to come back into your space where you've already ended that relationship. You've already closed that door. This is time for you to focus on moving forward because you have access to seeing into the future cancer. That is what I have for you. Again, endless possibility. This is you making, taking laser focus. See this person, how they're running towards their, their, um, their higher purpose. This is you. Uh-huh. That bird rep, that eagle represents your freedom. Yes, indeed. Yeah. You don't have to be guarded. All you have to do is just stay focused. And I'm talking about laser focus. There's endless possibilities for you. Endless, endless, endless in every area of your life. But the majority of these cards coming back, um, the possibilities are towards your power and your intellect and as well as your money and your wealth. So go for it, Cancer. You deserve it. That's what I have for you. Have a great one. Bye.